Hey guys, how's it going? Markel here, back with another video. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. With that being said, I want to speak about some comments that were left about the video I did about the side hustle, okay? So, let's talk about that real briefly. Uh, I know several people mentioned GI Bill, book rehab, and then I want to talk about the stock market as well. So let's get into this. So, for the people who mentioned uh, going to school on the GI Bill or book rehab, I had thought about those, and to be honest with you, a lot of people are gonna waste uh, their GI Bill. Just being honest, okay? Most people are not gonna take school very seriously. I've seen too many attempt. They get excited because they get that money, and then the next thing you know, they've slacked off. Because in the beginning of any class, the work is always easy. It's when you start to get into that third, fourth month, that they really start putting that pressure on to get more stuff done and that's usually when vets start to taper off and then tag out because it's no longer easy to do so instead of me telling them about that and either wasting the gi bill or wasting book rehab uh, i would wait until they're either serious or if they have the ability to transfer to someone else i would prefer personally that they do that than just waste something and wish they had it later on when they do decide to get serious to go to school. That's in my opinion. Now that's not gonna be everybody. There are some people who are totally serious about school and hey, they going abroad, that could be extra income they can use abroad while they're only receiving 70%, 80, 90%. That E5 pay would definitely help. Uh, also depending on where you are with whatever address that you list, it will definitely help with whatever low percentage that you have if you're trying to live abroad. That's at least four years that will help you by getting that extra money for basic housing allowance, okay? But that's why I didn't mention it, guys, because honestly speaking, most people would start out with it and then it would just taper off and it would be a waste of like six months to a year, especially if you fail the class, right? It just, what good did that do you, right? You did get some money for it, but cost you a year your GI Bill that you really didn't do anything with so that's why I stayed away from talking about school or vote rehab okay now let's move to the stock market all right <clears throat> now most people not all but most people are accustomed to doing a job and at the end of that job either receiving a paycheck either by the end of the week or in two weeks or some people get paid that very same day the stock market is basically gambling. A lot of people don't understand it, <laughs> probably have looked at it and they've heard enough people talk about it and the success that they had, but normally don't people don't talk about all the losses that they've had, okay? We always wanna make things sound good to make sure we sound smart, but nobody wants to tell people when they're talking about the market, all of the bad investments that they made, all of the money that they lost. That is a reality, okay? And also, everybody just ain't into the market. Like they hear people talking about the market, they hear people talking about Bitcoin, or they hear people talking about whatever stock, because I, I actually do dividends, right? Home Depot, Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. I do things like that. I dabbled a little bit with Apple. I got a little bit with Tesla. Not enough to really make a difference, but I got a little bit in each one of those. But the reason why I bring that up is because the market ain't for everybody. OK, there's sometimes I can see it in the comment section whenever somebody's talking about the market. They like, yeah, I heard people talk about the market, but I don't know enough about it. I haven't studied it. Uh, they can't look at a newspaper and be able to read what's going on by looking at the Nasdaq or the S&P. They, they have no clue what is going on with any of that. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There is no pressure on anybody to get into the market. That is strictly your choice. OK. What I would say though is, don't just go by a tip somebody gives you, okay? Because first of all, do your, do your own research. If I say, just like now I mentioned Home Depot. Okay, Home Depot right now, the last time I looked was trading at about 219 a stock. I'm not gonna tell you to go out and just buy Home Depot stock just so you can get dividends because you gotta put a lot into it and people don't really mention that part of it, right? You know, you just buy one stock, what do you think you're gonna get out of it? <laughs> you don't get very much out of that at all. So you gotta be realistic, okay? So 
the reason why I'm saying all this, man, is you don't have to follow everything everybody else does. Be you. If you're happy just doing a service, getting paid for that service, then that's what you do. Don't worry about what the next man is saying. As someone said to me in the comment section, and I totally agree with it, I don't have to prove nothing to nobody but myself. The same with you guys. You ain't got to prove nothing to nobody, okay? You don't want to get into the market? Don't get into the market. You don't want to go to school? Don't go to school. You just want to get a regular nine to five or you just want to do your side hustle? Then do that, okay? You ain't, who cares, okay? As far as you're concerned, who cares? As long as you're doing it legally, you're not doing anything illegally, you're not doing anything to jeopardize your benefits, have at it, hoss. Do what makes you happy. That's the only thing I ask. Do what makes you happy. So those are the reasons why I personally didn't mention school and why I didn't mention the market. Everybody ain't interested in it. Regardless of how exciting it may sound to a lot of people, regardless of what people claim they are making or possibly could make, but nobody never tells you all about all the losses. And there are a ton of losses. There's been so many losses that people sometimes can't take it because they've lost so much money. So know what you're really getting into. Do your research out there, ladies and gentlemen, and then move forward from there. Okay, last thing I want to talk about <clears throat> because cut our vacation short due to the taxi strike. I never knew how much of an effect the taxis and the trucking industry, especially in this country, because they could bring a city to its knees like that. I've spoken to uh, J Love about this, man. Taxis and trucks really run this city, bro, because if they want to shut it down, they can shut it down anytime they want. And they demonstrated that, uh, when was that? Yesterday. They demonstrated that yesterday. So uh, even where we were way out from the city, uh, when they shut it down or decided to shut it down, it was shut down, okay? And they and they kind of paid for it a little bit too because they got a lot of retaliation for it, but they made their point of what they were trying to get across to the local government, all right? All right, so with that being said, guys, I am back from my vacation a little bit early. We're gonna take another one and probably another two weeks from now, uh, hit the road or take a flight. I'm not sure which way we wanna go and uh, take another vacation. And this is something I encourage a lot of people to do. Not necessarily go on vacation, man, but just do what makes you happy, right? You got a goal that you want to fulfill, go fulfill that goal. Don't uh, wait, because time waits on no one, right? Your time is valuable, so use it while you have it. Uh, sometimes we don't get the opportunity to always be in the position that we're in right now. So definitely take advantage of the time that you have. Spend it with loved ones, spend it with whoever. But in the next two videos, man, the one I really want to concentrate on, and, and there still won't be a Saturday roll call, even though I'm back early. Uh, I'm going on a date night that night, so there still won't be a Saturday roll call. My apologies for anyone who, who were thinking that I was going to end up doing it because I came back early. No, I'm still going to go on a date night. But <clears throat> there's two things I want to bring up, and that's going to be something leading into the next Saturday roll call, not this week, but the following week. And that's talking about being black and having some success like you may be one of the first people in your family to go to college or you may be one of the first people in your family media family to own a business or uh, to find some success where others where you are put it this way you were not expected to be the one that has success they were counting on someone else that didn't happen with them you just happen to be the one so there's a lot of you guys out there that fall into that category male and female uh, I'm one of those black sheeps in the family. Um, you know, probably not a surprise to a lot of you. <laughs> and, and then another thing that I want to bring up and I want to talk about, right, which is uh, veterans' time, how we're spending our time. So that's that's something I want to concentrate on going into next week, talking more about time and taking advantage of it, um, letting it be an asset instead of a detriment. Because I know a lot of times we get bored depending on how we feel. And we'll spend the whole day in pain inside doing nothing. Uh, I try to find things to distract myself where I'm not thinking about the pain, whether I'm online writing a script or I'm doing something else, color grading, a photo or whatever. 
Uh, I want to get more into talking about that and finding some ways to help veterans distract from pain that they may be feeling. Okay, guys? So that's going to be it for this video. Kind of a long one. But hey, I appreciate everybody watching as always. And until the next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace. Enjoy the rest of your day.